Let's go on the way back machine for yeah. a second here. Back to the 80s and 90s. Uh, was a big horror sequel time. You and I both, in fact, the way we met was we both were writers on the fly, too. Uh, there was Critters Which I still too, think could have been... Oh, it could have been great. It could have been a better it's, movie than it turned out to be. I not think. a good movie. Yeah, I think. But you had done The Nightmare I think there was a lot three. of studio interference, I gather. Well, with, certainly with, when with, I... Uh, with the I was the first writer on it. Then they had a change in studio executives, and then <sighs> it, it just all changed. And I left to go direct another sequel, right. Critters, too. Right. But Nightmare 3, the remake of The Blob, Fly 2, uh, the remake of Frankenstein, oh. Mary Shelley's Duh. Frankenstein. Duh. Just You had written a wonderful script. Oh, thank you. And thank you. I had read that script, and it wasn't really the movie I saw. Sure as hell wasn't the movie I saw. <laughs> The movie I saw made me want to walk out into traffic after the premiere and step in front of a bus. You know, that's one of those Waterloo experiences, and it happens when you're when you're a screenwriter. You know, you never know Writer who, for hire. who you're handing your baby, your heart's desire over to, to raise. And, and, you know, maybe the kid turns out to be glorious and or turns out to be a junkie. Suddenly you see it all grown up, and the guy's got a fucking, you know... <laughs> Hypo in his arm, you know, and you go, oh my God, what happened? It was such a beauty, it could have been such a great person. I, I, what, what happened? It hurts. Oh, it hurts, it hurts. If you invest more than the skill set, which I always do. Well, if you're good at what you do, you do care you, about what you, the baby you're birthing. You, you, you do. Once, and once I say yes to something, you know, the question I always ask myself is, can I care, even if it's just a straight job, can I care enough about this to really care yeah. and do the best I got in me with this material? If you, if you can't answer yes, you shouldn't take the gig. Absolutely. You know. What do you think went wrong with Mary Shelley's Frankenstein? The movie I had in my head, I, the adapter, the writer, and the movie that the director had in his head Weren't the same movie. Um, They'd never met. I don't even know that they ever passed in a hallway. <laughs> it just was not the same movie. Yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, that's, that's really, at the end of the day, that's, that's really the most honest thing you can say, and it's the least bitter thing you can say, because, you know, if he just didn't, he didn't have the movie in his head that I had in my head, you know, yeah. and, 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 and at the end of the day, the document you hand somebody can only take you as far down the road as you have some shared sensibilities, you know? Yeah. And that's really what happened there. And I don't, uh, you know, like I say, it's, it's, not a, it's not a bitter, um, it's not a bitter thing, but, but, but I'd be lying if I didn't say, it, you know, that it wasn't fucking disappointing. And education is not always painless. No. It's not always painless. In fact, it's painful more often than not. Yeah, that, that, was a, that was a bit of a Waterloo for me, that one. But I've had others, believe me. Uh, would you direct for someone else? I mean, would you write a script for another director again? Oh, sure. Yeah? It depends on the director. You know, I think I'd, if I've earned no luxury by now, then to be at least a little choosy about what director we're talking about, mm -hmm. if I'm going to hire on and, and, and come and... and bring yeah. the sack of bricks to the summit of the mountain and lay it down at his feet, at least I'd have to like to have some confidence that the director isn't a schmuck, a clueless person who's really not going to understand. Well, you've gone in for Steven Spielberg on several things and done rewrites for him. I, I, I have, I have. Uh, the, the, the one that was the most um, pleasurable was uh, Saving Private Ryan. I, I didn't even get credit on uh, on that movie. I didn't get on screen credit for it. But I'm st it's something I'm still very, very proud of because I because I know I made a solid contribution to a film that's that's glorious. That's why I got into the business in the first place. Not necessarily to see my name, but to see shit I care about land gracefully on its feet, as opposed to get dropped on its head. You know, and you have both experiences in what we do. Some are terrible disappointments. Uh, uh, some are, are, are glorious and, 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 you know, they're, they're rarer, I think, but wonderful enough that they keep you going, keep you trying, you know? Um, Absolutely. And, I, and I've always said, you know, I think, I think if, if, 
You, know, you, should, you should try to weather your successes with as much dignity and grace as you weather your failures. If you can keep an even keel when all those about you are either kicking your ass or kissing your ass, I think you'll probably march through your career pretty well. You know, you'll, you'll survive the peaks, you'll survive the valleys, and, and, and hopefully continue to do the best work you know how. And, and sometimes the big casino, you know, the roulette wheel spins and it lands on your number and you go, wow, that actually turned out. Oh, even better. People went to see it. <laughs> That's the other factor. You know, I didn't have to hear five years later, oh, Shawshank is, you know, I love Shawshank. I was like, I wish you'd gone to see it when it came out, you <laughs> bastard. Yeah. You know, I wish you'd gone to the Pay theater for it. when it counted, you know. That, that, hey, that's okay. You know, at the end of the day, I, you know, I'll take those, wherever those reactions come from, however they get there, because that's the stuff that nourishes your your childhood heart, the one that sat in the movie theater was inspired by something to come do this for a living. You know, you hear, so, wow, what you did really meant something to me. It means more than the other stuff. It's great that history will tell. History will tell. And that's, and that's the ultimate final jury of your peers. History will tell. Critics can't tell you. Even the audiences of the day your movie is released can't really tell you. The only thing that really will tell you the value of what you've done or the, or the lack of value of what you've done, time. Time heals all wounds. Time delivers all critical judgments. It's a wonderful life, slammed by the critics, ignored by the audiences. One of the great movies of all time now. Casablanca, same thing. Wizard of Oz, same thing. Time. And time. And, t and time to say goodnight, I guess. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> well, so much, Frank. This was so fun. Thank you. Blast. Thank right. you.